What's up, everybody? My name is Ryan Alexander Holmes, and welcome to my channel. This is my first video ever. Ever. And today I wanted to talk about my identity acceptance journey. I'm Blasian, I'm black and Chinese, and I accept and love and embrace both cultures fully, unapologetically. But it hasn't always been that way. My life has been one long identity crisis bouncing back and forth between like, not being black enough, and not being Asian enough, speaking too white or proper or whatever. But even the salvation that I feel now isn't 100%. It's still a constant battle of self acceptance and self love in being confident in my identity. Capital M Y, my identity. Because there are people who are out there that are real quick, real quick to tell me who I am. But I am not the opinion of others. I'm not. So this is this is part one. So I'm gonna share one experience about an event that has happened that has made me understand my identity. And I'm doing this because it's in these shirts that I wear um, quite often because I love them. I used to I used to be afraid to wear these shirts in public for me. You see it? You see it? I used to be afraid to wear these shirts in public because I was afraid of people calling me out for appropriation, even though I am Chinese. Because I've been told so many times, so many times, that I don't look Chinese. And I'm just like, who don't I look Chinese to? To you? To society? Because I literally am Chinese. Like it's in my blood, it's flowing through my biracial veins. Are you a doctor or a nurse? Do you know how to extract the blood? All the Chinese blood that's inside of me? No, you don't, because even if you did know how to do it, it's not possible, okay? So here's the deal. This is, this is sort of what I learned from this experience of wearing these shirts and, and finding my identity and being proud of my identity through these shirts. I, I realized that when I started wearing them that a lot of the things that I thought were gonna happen didn't happen. People didn't call me out on appropriation. And, and they rarely did, but when they did, I didn't care. I didn't care. Because their thoughts about who I am, you know, sometimes I'd still tell them that I'm Chinese and they'd still be like, no, you're not, you're appropriating culture. I didn't care anymore, because it didn't matter. My, my perspective has, had shifted from, you know, self-acceptance to the point where like, okay, you can say whatever you want to say, but like, does that make me not Chinese? So it feels such common sense now that it's like, I was letting those people be my master by letting them control what I was wearing. And in actuality, like they never actually had power over me. And it was, it was my mind that was taking these few negative experiences that I've had and, and making that the norm for myself. And making the way that I viewed the world and how, how I thought people viewed me a certain negative connotation to it. And so when I started getting over that, I started wearing these shirts, not sort of in defiance to how I thought the world saw me, but just like, I love these shirts because these shirts are a part of me and they're fucking sweet. They look so cool. Look at this. Can we give me the 360? You see that? It's amazing. The stitching, the design, it's beautiful. So yeah, now I guess I make the decision for myself what I'm gonna wear and that freedom of making that decision for myself is is the true freedom of self-identity for me. When it comes to my identity acceptance journey, this is probably something that is, you know, it's an independent self-actualization that set me free because people's opinions or even sometimes it's what I think others' opinions might be don't define me. I define me and I make those decisions about my life. It doesn't matter what other people think, it really doesn't matter. And sometimes we don't even know what they're thinking anyway. So like whatever you wanna wear, whether it's you know these cool ass con shirts that I like to wear, whatever it is for you, wear that. Wear it, cut your hair a certain way, dye it, do whatever makes you happy and, and style yourself in whatever way you want, express yourself in whatever way you want because it doesn't matter what other people think. I can't stress that enough. So this is, this is part one of my identity acceptance journey, Tong shirts. Maybe next time I'll talk about um, another, another, so part two. Part two, I'll talk about maybe my love for anime, my unapologetic love for anime, and uh, my anime figurines. The Saiyan Prince! This is just one of them. I got a whole bunch. You want 
I see them? They're all... You know what? Next time. We'll talk about it next time. Uh, that's all I got for today. But I love you, and thank you for watching this video. My first video ever. And don't forget to subscribe. Oh, also, um, catchphrase, come on, catchphrase. Um, love yourself unapologetically in all your unique glory. Ryan Alexander Holmes, I love you. That's all I got. Don't forget to subscribe.